Hi everyone. So till now we talked about controllers and somewhat pipes. So in the coming videos we will go back to the fundamentals of NASJS. We will talk about the basic fundamentals. What are middlewares, interceptors, pipes, controllers, modules, services, all these things. Before going there, let's complete our this user APIs. We understood okay how to introduce the validation pipe. And NestJS has very good documentation when it comes to understanding the things. So here we are, we were talking about the request validation and we were using validation pipe and we created this uh, data transfer object and these transfer objects were actually representing request object and with the help of class validators, we apply the validations. Okay, so what are the other options we can pass in the validation pipe? Transform true. Okay, what it is doing is whenever the request is being sent to the server that is something like plain javascript object right so whenever you are setting transform true then it is actually doing auto transformation of those primitive types based on what you have defined in the dto's okay so when you put a transform true you can set this for the global also if you wanted to set it for the global then you have to do it in the in the main.ts file once you got the app instance app dot well set uh, this for global validation pipe transform true right here now the auto conversions are happening here so parameter is id and you are expecting of type number but how because in the network these ids will be passed as a string then how this auto conversion is happening because we have set transform true so the type of the id which you will receive is of type number only Explicit conversion if you want to make then you can do these you can use this parse int and parse boolean pipe on top You will see there are other pipes also except validation pipe parse int pipe parse boolean pipe Okay, this is what we are talking about Like uh, you can just add the query validation Let me scroll down here Parameter ID is of type uh, ID and you are using the parse int pipe parse boolean pipe right so we have seen three to three or four different annotations till now i'm just using this for just an example let me just import them for now so we have seen params query and there is one more thing we can use is body I mean obviously not all we are going to use together but just for example how we use them okay so you can use at the annotation body if you are except expecting something in the body query if you are expecting something in the query parameter params if you are expecting something in the query parameter right if you are sending something here this is the query parameter but if you are saying something email equals to something at the gmail.com that is a query parameter this is the request parameter and this is body in the std post if you are sending something that becomes the request body right these annotations are supported and with the transform true if you are just setting id of type number then it will automatically get converted if you want explicit conversion then use this parse int pipe parse boolean pipe that will automatically convert sort from string to a boolean otherwise if you don't want transform is true at the global level sort will always come as a boolean id will come as a number okay now before moving further what we will what next we are going to talk about is let's create a task controller and task module in the coming video all the things which we have discussed we will create the modules services uh, controllers and pipes all the things together with the help of that task service and we will understand all these fundamentals uh, you can see in the documentation these are the fundamentals how what is the exit I mean, what is the importance of modules, middleware, ex exception filters, pipes, interceptors, right? All these things we will understand with one simple 
task controller same as the user module we have created okay and we will cover all these things one by one how we are creating providers filters middlewares and all 